Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. I'm very happy you are here with us today. In today's edition of Build a Doodle, we take the basic flower shape that we worked on last week and we put it in a little bit more of an environment. I actually didn't use um, like the, the pens, the gel pens. Um, what I did use in this, I believe, are the, um, the Neo Colors and the Ink Tents and uh, just really played with it. I love it. Very simple. Um, it didn't really take too long. I think maybe took 20, 25 minutes. Um, give yourself permission to do a little bit longer piece of art or just do one flower if you only have 10 minutes in a day. And I get that. Some of us only have 10 minutes in a day. Just do a single flower. Just practice. Don't get overwhelmed by having to make a composition. Don't get overwhelmed by, um, you know, oh, I don't have enough time to do that. If you don't get a chance to do every single one of these, that's okay. It's all right. Don't stress. I know that I give you a lot of artwork and a lot of different projects that you can do. So just pick and choose the ones that you like the best, right? You don't have to do everything that I'm doing. So give yourself a break with that because I can't even keep up with me. So, <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have a great day. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all of those great things. If you can support the channel, I would really, really appreciate your support. It is necessary. Um, your $10 would make a huge difference. Um, it just keeps adding up a little bit at a time. And in order to continue to bring you daily content, I will need to have your support. Pretty, pretty please. If you do use the Amazon links, um, yeah, I get a little bit of kickback from Amazon on that. And so that is nice also. Okay, everybody. Um, I think that's everything. Jump on over to Messy, Band, Messy Hands Band of Artists and share with me what you're working on. I'd love to see your work. Okay, everybody. I hope you have a great day. We'll chat soon. Bye. Hello, artists. Okay, so we're going to work on something similar to this one. This one's going to be our inspiration today. So, um... This is a little five or six leaf wide leaf flower. They kind of have some little berry shapes in the center. Um, I like the little composition. It's pretty simple um, shape. So we're gonna go off of that. It's actually quite similar to this one. Um, so we're gonna pull in another five by seven sheet. We're working on the smooth side. Um, what comes first on this one? Does the drawing come first or does the uh, paint? Now for me, it looks like these are actually pieces of deli sheet possibly. Um, they're not just paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my inspiration off of it and then we will um, go from there. That really is a cool uh, piece. I do wonder who the artists are on these. Again, they're off of print Pinterest, so I'm not positive. Um, we do not want to copy them exactly. We want to bring our own life into it, right? So if I put down gel pen, is it going to run with the water? And the question, most likely, yes. So let's pull in our Neo colors and do a sketch with those instead. Um, now I'm going to use this light green, I think. Just a lighter color. I'm putting a little bit of water on that. Um, so let's establish how we want these to relate to each other. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to work a little bit larger, guys. I'm going to go with the 8 by 6 size. It doesn't matter. Um, I just like to work a little bit larger. So just some circles, a cluster of circles. I'm going to make the center one the tallest one here. Mm. 
And then I'm going to bring this guy down over here. All right. I'm going to bring a petal here. These petals are a little bit diamond shape. Kind of a pear shape. You know, there's nothing that's exact or perfect. Bring an extra little guy in there. I will bring the So this is just a water soluble pencil. You could use, well, your Stabilo might get a little bit too um, muddy. But it is a water soluble pencil. It's just too dark. Love that one. So I kind of quit looking at that. Okay, it's an interesting shape, interesting background. Um, what do I want to do next, huh? I'm going to make that stem go over there. Let's get some leaves in there, huh? This is not, again, yeah, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just looking for interesting shapes leading our eyes up into the image. Best to do some of that overlap. I like that, just like that. Okay, all right, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time with this. So we're going to just bring in some background color. How fun. Okay, um, grab some more of the blues there. I like the splatter look with my watercolors. If you don't like it, guys, don't do it. You know, it's, it's all good. Just to see, I've got plenty of water on there. That one actually probably has a little bit too much water, but I'm happy with it. I like what it's doing. So pull in a little bit more green, a little bit more water. I'm just dipping right into the water. Not dunking it, dipping it. Okay. And there, I just pulled off some of the water. You can take a toothbrush and do this. You don't have to use your brush like that at all. Okay, I'm going to go in with my nice round brush and kind of pull off some of that extra color and actually I'm going to put it on these little leaves here too lightly Okay, we're going to bring in a little bit darker blues um, around 
the back side of all of that. See how I'm getting a nice light wash here? Adding a little extra water, a lot of pigment in my brush right now. Add it, just a little bit of the uh, phalo green, I think it was. And I'm going to bring some water into that. So we're just going to work a little bit at a time. variation of colors, some green, some blue, just keeping it rather light though right now. Some more yellow in there. Oh, that was a big chunk of yellow. That'll be a pretty color. Oops, that's actually our leaf color. So let's try to keep our background color a little bit cooler. I just made that executive decision. Okay, let's uh, bring in some green, huh? Right. I'm going to grab a smaller brush, I think. Well, it's better that I don't, honestly. Sometimes you get too small and you start to really focus in too much and you get nitpicky, and we don't want to do that. We want to try to keep this loose and free. We're gonna bring a little bit of orange in there in the centers. Ooh, that's a lot of orange, but it works, okay.
All right, let's go in with some pencil. See what we can do. Let's grab the kind of the orangey red color. Probably not the proper thing to do to completely dunk it in, but. So here guys, all I'm doing is using my pencil instead of um, the gel pen. It's still just a doodle. But our doodle has become a drawing, which is perfect. That's what we want to do. Well, that's the whole goal of all of this for me, for you. what it is. Right. I can sit behind, it's okay. All right. And uh, let's put in some contrasting color for the berries. And um, we're going to use this kind of this bright, let's see how this works. Um, it's not quite as bright as I would like for it to be. I'm just putting a little bit of water with that. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do with these things. All right, so now my question is, what happens if I go around this with my gel pen. Or do I leave it just like it is? Now you see how I'm taking a, a different color and going around these leaves also, these petals? Gives it more variety, more interest. I like it. That's why I continue to do it. And actually, it's keeping it lighter, so we're not going to use our gel pen to outline these. Now, you could. You could, absolutely. Just do whatever makes you happy. I'm just adding a little bit more detail in here. That's cool. All right, and ooh, hi Oz.
All right, guys, I think that's done. Is there anything else that I could do to it that would make it butter right at this point in time? And I kind of like it, just like it is. I really do. Well, I hope you guys do too. You know, don't be afraid to try your different mediums and to mix them and to play with them. You know, that's, that's what we're learning. But I do want to show you how your doodle, this doodle, becomes something else. We're just building up to these points. This one's cool. That'd be kind of fun to play with. This one was really elegant. Hmm. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and uh, we will chat soon.